Lady Vendal and thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching this, that means you really like what I do. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Just support me. I really appreciate it. So uh, I spent a little part of my vacation in Livingston, Zambia this past December and I just want to share with you guys uh, a few things that I liked and didn't like and please go and visit this beautiful town uh, of Livingston. I know you're going to love it, you're going to have so much fun. So sit back, enjoy, uh, put all your questions or comments down below and I'm sure you're going to say something about so amazing. Number one, the absolutely stunning greenery. It's great for all adventures, long walks into town, and creates a great contrast for amazing pictures. I should warn you, however, to prepare for mango galore. The mangoes are literally readily available everywhere from the mango trees that grow all over. Your strength is all I know. Perfect in every way, defeat every enemy. Standing beside me in any sign of tragedy. When dark clothes come, Number two, the Zambian food. It is to die for. The majority of the meals are centered around uh, cooked pounded white maize. It's known as shima. Uh, it can be served with any kind of relish from a variety of vegetables and fish, meat, chicken, carpenters, mopani worms, the likes. Number three, the hospitality. The people in Livingston, Zambia are the friendliest I have ever experienced in any country I've ever been in. They're quite laid back, they have the warmest of hearts and are always willing to have a chat. Never let me go, Jesus, no. Never let me go, Holy Spirit. Never let me go, Jesus, no. Never let me go. Wonderful Then the red is for the bloodshed during the struggle for independence. The green is for the wildlife, nature and agriculture. Then we've got the orange for the minerals, like copper that came out. Number four, affordability. Now accommodation, fun activities and buying souvenirs and food is quite affordable. If you're a backpacker, there are great places to stay as well, with deals from 10 US dollars a night to 21 US dollars a night. Just make sure not to pay more than 290 kwacha per night. Now, as you move to the more fancier lodges or the big shots like the Avani's and the Royal Livingston Hotel, it ranges anywhere between 100 to 200 US dollars per night. It really all depends on what it is you're looking for. Number five. Livingston is of course a tourist destination, so one key aspect for me was the natural wonders. Just seeing the Zambezi River, the Vic Falls was just amazing and fascinating. So make sure you do a few adrenaline thrill activities. So, amazing. so a couple of things I did not like about my adventure Number one, the potholes on my way to Zambia. Now I took a bus from Vintuk, Namibia uh, through Katima Melilo uh, into uh, Zambia. About 40 kilometers from Sesheke, getting into Livingston, the potholes. Huge, gigantic potholes. It took us forever, mainly because we're not really driving on the road anyway, but we're on the side of the road to avoid really huge potholes. Standing beside me in any sign of tragedy. When dark clothes come, there is no Number two, the power cuts. So the load shedding in Livingston happens between 9 a.m. to about 9 p.m. If you live in a place where there are no generators, that will suck. But if you are planning to visit Livingston, um, you shouldn't be indoors during these times anyway. Guys, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. To come to my rescue, yeah. So me sing, never let me go. Jesus, no. Never let me go. Holy steady. Never let me go. Jesus, no.